Make them. Not so much a beautiful night in New York City as the rain continues to fall on Times Square as we are less than two and a half hours away from dropping the ball and 2018 is ushered out, 2019 coming in here. Welcome to PFL Championship here, Todd Harris alongside Randy Couture and Boss Rutten and what a night it has been so far as we take a look at the light heavyweight bracket and what a season has been. It started in June and then we got to the playoffs and then things got really interesting. Vinny Magaliesh working his way through with very limited time inside the cage getting stoppages and Sean O'Connell never count him out as he continues to fire big shots as Sean O'Connell does a fantastic job. The two now face off for the light heavyweight crown. Magalesh, the former Jiu-Jitsu world champion who finished every single fight this season in less than two minutes. O'Connell, a collegiate football player out of Utah, has one punch knockout power, and he used it to stop two of his opponents this season in dramatic fashion. O'Connell is a renaissance man, a guy with many talents both in and out of the cage. And prior to the season, he had moved on from fighting and more towards those of other past. Sean O'Connell letting it all hang out. I said, make me a broadcaster. They gave me a shot, and I'm damn good at it. And I'm going to keep doing it, and I'm going to keep knocking guys out on TV. And he marks in trouble as O'Connell rains down the matter. leather. I was retired. I didn't sign up for this to win a fight or two. It was to win a million dollars. If Sean can't mount a comeback here and get the win, this could be his last round of his professional career. Look at this. Sean's got him where he wants him. Oh, 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 down. His hurt. Sean O'Connell goes to work. I knew some of the guys on the roster. I felt like I had a good idea of where I stand compared to those guys. So I made a strategic decision to come back. himself in a world of hurt. Oh, it's wow. Sean O'Connell's going to New York City. Man, that is crazy. One more fight before I show everyone that it was a great decision, and I'm a champion. When I signed with the PFL six months ago, I told Vinny, it's going to be me and you in the finals. Vinny, the Here we are. He's a scary guy if he gets you on the ground, but have we all forgotten Vinny Magalhaes can't take a punch? That's what I'm going to do to him. I'm going to punch him in the face. He's going to try and get me down and submit me, and we're going to see which one of us is better at what we do well. The, the one picture that really keeps coming to mind for me, six or seven extra punches on the ground after I knock Vinny down. And that moment, the ref steps in, pushes you away. You realize, I just won the fight, and in that case, I just won a belt and a million dollars. That's the image that keeps playing over and over in my mind. So my job is to put all the necessary work in so that that is the result, because that's the only thing I can say. Quite the year for O'Connell to top it off. He got married this past summer to his wife, Kendall. He told us this week they are expecting their first child. Can he put the massive exclamation point on 2018 with the title and the win tonight? Tell you what, of all the athletes tonight, he may have his hands the most full because Vinny Magalhaes, Randy Couture, is a former world champion. If he gets his hands on you, you can expect bad things to happen. Absolutely, world class, world champion in black belt jiu-jitsu. 14 of his 18 victories in his career came by submission. That tells you the story right there. This PFL format is perfect for Vinny Magalhaes. It's kept him busy, it's kept him in shape. He's got nobody telling him how he needs to fight, that he needs to be more exciting, or that he needs to knock people out. He can go out there and do what he does best, and the result has been four first round finishes in under two minutes. He has been devastating as we take a look at the tail of the tape for this one in the light heavyweight division. Vinny Magalhaes, 34 years of age, 6'3", 204. His reach one inch advantage over Sean O'Connell and two in the leg department. The 35-year-old O'Connell, 6'1", 204. He says this will probably be his last fight. Now, he did throw a caveat there, boss, saying if someone wants to pay me a lot of money to come back and fight one more fight, I might consider it. But he would like to make this his last fight with a title belt. So what you're saying is that he is fighting for the money and not for the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, somebody speaks the truth.
<laughs> you want both, right? Well, I bet he didn't ask his wife about that little caveat. <laughs> yes. We are set to go in the light heavyweight division as we send it in to Joe Martinez for the official introductions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with the next bout tonight, brought to you by Estrella Jalisco, the official beer of the Professional Fighters League, available inside at all concession stands. And now, fight fans, five rounds this for $1 million in the PFL Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he's a kickboxer, standing six feet, one inch tall. Weighing it officially, 204 and one quarter pounds in 30 professional bouts. His record, 20 victories and 10 defeats. Here is the number six seeded light heavyweight from Salt Lake City, Utah, the real OC, Sean O'Connor! And across the cage stands his opponent, fighting in the red corner. A jiu-jitsu practitioner standing six feet, three inches tall. Also weighing it officially 204 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 18 victories, nine defeats, and one no contest. Here's the number one seated submission specialist from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Vinny Pessoa Magalhães. And your referee in charge of the action, getting us started, Keith Peterson. Woo. Five five-minute rounds here for the championship belt. Ten-point must system based on aggression and control. There are no knees to the head of a grounded opponent, and there are no elbows anywhere, anytime in Sir, the PFL. Are Sir, are you ready? Fight. Get set. This one could end quickly. Vinny Magliash taking on Sean O'Connell. O'Connell looking to land the big knockout punch. Vinny Magalhaes looking to submit by way of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I like O'Connell is lighter on his feet than he normally is, and that's smart because he needs to. Oh, oh look at this. Man, Vinny. in there banging with exactly. Sean O'Connell. Exactly. I don't know if that's Did the not expect thing to do. that. Oh, there's a shot. Slipped right under that punch of, of O'Connell. Using the fence now, going to try and find a pull away. O'Connell, oh, he pulls Leg guard. Leg, Leg lock attempt here. Got a good heel hook attempt. Yeah, this is worse. Now he's switching to the other side. He only has to push the toes down This is really, really dangerous. He only has to push the toes down now and he wins. Sean O'Connell trains with Jeremy Horn as one of the best submission guys in this game. So I guarantee he's been in this position before. He was working his leg as well. This is not where Sean wanted to be, but guys, we've seen Sean in bad places before, and somehow, some way, he finds his way out of it. Up kick now coming from Vinny Magalesh. O'Connell raining down oh. some heavy punches. And a Plata attempt. Magalesh being very, very active from the bottom. Pushes to O'Connell away and, and smartly oh, yeah. O'Connell steps back. O'Connell Come loves on, to get stand back up. up. Let's go here. Vinny Magalesh deciding to go in close corners and throws oh, the nice straight to jab. Another straight jab by Magalesh. Look at this. Cut open Big up on the head up. of Sean O'Connell. He continues to throw. Sometimes I don't think O'Connell fights until he's bleeding. It's so weird. He, he gets better when he gets hit. <laughs> and now Vinny decides to slow the pace down just a little bit. In deep on the double. Look for him to try and close those legs together and pull them out from underneath O'Connell. O'Connell got to try and get, reach down, get that underhook, and pull Vinny back up to that chest-to-chest -chest position. Nice takedown by Megalesh. Megalesh going to look. Oh, be careful, O'Connell. Don't give up your back. Do not give your rear back to Vinny. Yeah, Vinny's got Oops. one, two hooks in. Yeah. He's a little high. But there's a plethora of submissions for this guy. And maybe right the most here. surprising thing is this fight's gone over two minutes for Vinny Magalhaes. The most he's worked. The most he's had to work this season. Posture's up momentarily. Now fishing again for the rear naked choke. Gonna try and pound on him a little and soften him up and then find a way to sneak into that neck. Sean O'Connell, one of the toughest cats in the PFL right now. He is carrying the Brazilian backpack and blood dripping from the forehead. Try to stretch him out. There we go. Keep that close together. Oh, nice job here by O'Connell coming back up. Look at that. Hooks in. Good position. He needs to stretch one leg and get, get one hook off. Oh, he got one hook off. Nice job. Might be a side choke coming up. Could be rolling right into a side yep. choke. Saw Keith Peterson looked at Sean. He said, I'm okay, I'm okay. 
Former world champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, a black belt, Vinny Magalhaes is no joke on the ground. Did you know what O'Connell said? He trains with high-level guys. He says, I can survive there. Yeah, I'm not going to catch him, but I can at least survive. Vinny looking to lock around that waist and that body triangle. Sean O'Connell now trying to survive this last 90 seconds of round number one. What did he tell us, guys? He said, lose a round, not the fight. Look at this. Body, body triangle right there. Very tough for the bottom guy to breathe in this situation. Not everyone Both can do this, but Vinny has certainly taken away Sean's big punching power here. Now Magalhaes starting to rain down punches again. Coming up on 60 seconds to go this of the first round, scheduled for five. Another leg wow, attempt. attempt. That's an inverted heel hook again. Again, he could, simply has to push the toes down now, and he has a submission. I want to fight like that. It's a, it's a very weird thing to do, but it's super effective. Sean just trying to create the distance so he can get this thing back to the feet and fire off the big punches. Megaless trying to isolate that leg. Sean O'Connell find a way to put torque and twist on that knee. He's got to watch out now again because he puts his leg into an inverted leg lock position for Megaless. There we go again for the there it is. Hill against the got hardest that toes locked in that armpit, and he starts to twist. And that's going to put a lot of pressure on Sean O'Connell's knee ligaments. Good defense there by Sean pulling off the hands. Final Very 10. smart. That's it. So it looks like Vinny Magalhaes will have to go into the second round to see if he can get the win. Nice. And Sean O'Connell survives an onslaught on the ground. All right, fellas, what surprised you most about that? That Sean O'Connell survived the first round or that Vinny weighed in to throw heavy leather with him in the center of the cage? Now you see yeah, I think both things surprised me, but he's going to have to engage to get to, to O'Connell and put him on the ground. Get him to shoot. When he shoots, stop digging under. Cover his head and cup down. Dig down on him, man. You got to throw that head down. Be a little more patience with your stand-up, and you're, you heard it bad in that round several times, all right? Here it is one more time. That's, That's the, the shot. Cut. Yep. Nice straight jab by Vinny Magalhaes. Ooh, another one. Nice shots by Sean O'Connell, too. There's a Sean right Sean cracked him. O'Connell cracked him good. Boom. Nice. Flush this. on the nose. Body shot. Oh, I thought it was left with the body coming. Looping around. Ay, ay, ay. Three minutes and 28 seconds of ground time, guys, in Round number one, that's got to be the advantage. Vinny Magalhaes, Sean O'Connell, though. One punch power as we go to the second round. Just those five rounds, both these guys are going to be standing there looking at each other going, yeah. what the heck? Yeah, that nobody would expect oh, nice. that. Nice one, too. Guys, the one, second two, round has been Sean O'Connell's member against Honey oh, Marks hurt, in Chicago. And he's hurt him. Dives in on the legs. Good defense. Take down defense, Paul. Again, Paul's guard trying to get to that leg. Nice Michael job. Connell says not Walked happening. away. Get up. Sean O'Connell. Vinny Magalhaes is looking a little weary. Yeah, I tell he you. took a shot. Right away in on that leg. Go. Very hard not to go to the ground. Yeah, he Very smart what he's doing. I think O'Connell realizes he took a lot out of him in that first round. I don't Sean's think Vinny to tell him expected him. To, to O'Connell to be able to get out of those positions, and he spent a lot of energy there. That's Michael real discipline. Sean is not going to go to the ground with him. Yeah. Get that jab! Get that jab going! Stay sharp! Use that jab! Oh, big shots by Sean O'Connell. Again, a good sprawl. If you can stay out of it. That's your favorite position right there, Randy. Almost. Yeah, almost. He's got the leg. He came out yeah. the back door. He's going yeah. for the leg lock again. Trying to climb up and isolate a leg. O'Connell's doing a great job of keeping his weight on that leg. 
He needs to just turn to the left and pull out. Course will run. It's going to get harder and harder for Manuel as they get sweaty. Go. That's what he needs to do. And Sean just walks away. So you have two athletes, both very well versed in their specialty art. Sean O'Connell wants to knock your block off, and Vinny wants to get it to the ground. And neither one of them budging on the game plan at this point. And he's listening to Jeremy Horn O'Connell yep. as he's that pushed that hat down the whole time, and that's what he's doing right now. Second round has been Sean O'Connell's trademark. He did it against Ronnie Marks. He did it against Dan Spawn. Can he turn the tables here on Vinny Magalhães? Halfway through round number two. Straight right shoot, high, right eye. It's working second. Fight his body too, Vinny. No, oh, oh that hurt. clipped him. Oh, another one. Magalhães is in trouble. Wow. He's got to watch out for a knee bar. He's looking to roll. You see, you see it? He was looking for a knee bar. Yeah, absolutely was. And Sean's feeling the momentum turning in his favor as Magalhães has just nothing left in his arms. He's taking shots every time O'Connell comes in. His best offense is these singles. He's diving in on these singles to get his hand out of the way of Sean O'Connell's fists. Good work there by O'Connell for hitting the body. Very smart because Michael Lynch is already tired. Yep. So let's interrupt the breathing pattern a little bit more. Just keep on hitting. I think Michael Lynch should change game plans now. He should strike a little bit because shooting for the singles, you see it coming now. I'm surprised Sean's even going this much into the ground with him and not just standing him up. Uh, he, he can't break that grip. Yeah, he's got a death grip on his leg right he now. Takes those hips off of Vinny's legs, and Vinny's going to try and roll to guard or pull him into this guard game. Guard game. The question is, how quickly can Vinny Magalhães recover? After taking some big shots here in round number two, the round that Sean O'Connell has done so much damage throughout the season and in O'Connell the playoffs. trying to choke here from the front headlock position. Tries to open some space so we can hit the face as well. Wow, this 15. is going to be a very interesting third round, I can tell oh you my. that. Wow. Then he seems to be okay with just staying in this position. He's taking some damage. Sean is just exhausted. And we will go to a third round. We got one round apiece. 10-9 for Vinny Magalhães in the first round. 10-9 for Sean O'Connor, second. You won that round, but you're fucking dancing with danger here. Okay. Stop fucking around on that sprawl. Get your knees off the ground and keep his head down hard. Okay. If you want to back away and throw a few punches, that's fine. But you got to be careful letting your knees sit and your hips coming back. All right? Some wise words there from Jeremy Horn. Man, I'm just surprised he's going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sean. That did and just surprise me. But he, he, Sean's not giving him a lot of choice. Yeah. Yeah, but this is the moment, once they start throwing power shots, that's the moment to yep. dive, you know? To, to, but his transition skill, he's, he's kind of diving into that single. He's not really moving his feet and driving through Sean O'Connell to take him down. Yep. Oof, wow. He's exhausted and he's scared. Don't get careless. You feel me? Got it, man. Use that jab. Let's get that jab going, Sean. Everything looks fucking awesome. Sean O'Connell landing 23 ground strikes in round number two to Vinny's zero. You're not going to abandon your game plan coming into this point, but guys, for Vinny Magalhães, this is a totally different story for him throughout the PFL season. As the doctor now taking a closer look at the cut over Sean's right eye. 
Okay, the door's closing. The door closed, so we are on for a third round of five. This for the light heavyweight belt, Sean O'Connell taking on Vinny Magalhaes. Oh, wow. Vinny has the strength to go top shelf, and O'Connell keeps coming forward again. Oh, nice. Right kick, right hand. You don't see Another that right hand. But you know, oh, wobble by O'Connell. Sean has got those skates going. We saw that earlier in the season. He but he came back and fired the lift, and he's shot. doing it again. Vinny's in trouble. Vinny's in big trouble. Push the legs to the side. Both fighters struggling to keep their stance, and O'Connell says, come on up. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you said it, man. When he's in danger, that's when he's most dangerous. Oh, oh man, digging deep. Big, big left. left. Then he wants no part of that Sean O'Connell left. He's got one too many already. And the amount of energy oh. that Vinny is spending also on the takedowns constantly. Yep. Yep, absolutely. But it's a pure desperation. He's getting clobbered. Yep. He's got to dive in on those hips or he's going to continue to eat those shots. And the same recipe again. Sean O'Connell pawing with the right, then the left. Vinny dives in, grabs the single to slow him down and lock him up. That's what you're trying to said. suck that leg in. You got to yep. keep that knee off the mat. Make your opponent on the bottom carry all your weight. Drive with your toes. Pick your knees up and make him carry every ounce of that weight. What a contrast in styles. And Sean O'Connell has certainly found his spots. Right straight to the body. Wow. Oh, man. Grueling fight. Yep. And every every 30 seconds is the same position. Yeah. Every time. This is a wash, rinse, repeat situation <laughs> as Vinny Magalhaes again oh, is whoa. taking the shots. Big Can left. Sean put him down this time? Big lefts. Goes in on the single again. There's driving those hips. Getting that knee off the mat. It's not popular with the fans here, especially for the real OC fans, but this is effective for Vinny Magalhaes. This is basically all he's got to do to stay alive in this one. <laughs> yeah. He had trouble picking his hand up to say, come on, get yeah, up. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh, nice body There's shot. There's the body shot you wanted. Oh, fell into that Look left that. hook. Vinny is very, very tired here. Yeah, Vinny is just gassed under two minutes to go here, round number three. He's going to roll to his back. Sean's going to engage him this time with some big punches. Shouldn't oh, be here. Be careful here. He shouldn't be there. He's going to get chewed out by Jeremy Horn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't just want to trade with Jeremy on yeah. Monday. Or too Next sweaty Monday. there as Vinny's able, unable to lock him up. They look like they've gone 15 rounds. And here we are in round number three, and O'Connell keeps firing those shots. He's going to get a warning. Yeah, Vinny doesn't have a whole lot left no. here, guys. Body shot. One well-placed punch from O'Connell, and this thing's going to be over. I think whoever wins this fight certainly earned their million oh, dollars. No Holy oh, cow. And this is a bad position yep. for Vinny against the fence. The referee's looking at this hard. Oh, oh, arm bar. Arm bar. How sweaty is he? Stacking. Can he get out? Hey, nice, nice job. Nice job. Well, he said what he was going to do. He's got he one told us. The, yeah, he's... Sean barely has the strength to walk away from him. And Vinny barely has the strength to stand up. It's like drunken kung fu out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the drunken master. Oh, two big shots. Another one. Diving in on the single again. 
final 10 seconds of round number three. As O'Connell staggers away, Vinny staggers to his feet. Wow. Did the epitome of an this. absolute war inside the cage. Okay. Agales, something's, something's wrong. Okay. Hey, does he want to continue? It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I think yeah. he fractured his orbit. Look at his cheek. Yeah, that is it. It is all over. Oh, yep. Yep. The fight is over. Keith Peterson has ended the fight. It yeah. is all over. He was whispering to Eric when he got back to his corner, and something definitely yeah. happened. What a story book ending for him. This is insane. He got married, his wife is pregnant, now they can buy a house. He, he came back out of retirement to do this. Unbelievable. That's just, unbelievable. I love this. And all the fans that travel from Salt Lake City, Utah to support Sean O'Connell. And what a party they'll have tonight. Vinny Magalash unable to answer the bell in the fourth. Got to give Vinny credit, he took Sean O'Connell's best shot. Not yep. a lot of guys could say that. And he was firing back the whole time. He didn't quit at all, but yeah, he knew he couldn't do this anymore. Unbelievable ending as Sean O'Connell and Vinny Magalesh in an absolute classic with contrasting styles. No one saw this one ending the way it did. We'll sort it all out when we return to New York City and Madison Square Garden here on NBCSN. Tonight's BFL Championship telecast is being broadcast with limited commercial interruption. Brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com to see how much you could save. Down to two hours for the folks waiting in Times Square on New Year's Eve as the rain continues to fall. And fall did Vinny Magalhaes, unable to answer the bell. It's a corner stoppage after the third round as Sean O'Connell gets the victory as we send it inside the cage for the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number three, the corner of Magalhaes requests this bell come to a stop. Declaring your winner by TKO, the winner of $1 million and new PFL light heavyweight champion of the world, the real OC, Sean.
John O'Connor. Sean O'Connell stands alone in the cage as Caroline Pierce will join him for the presentation. Sean, congratulations. You've got the belt. Now it's time to present you with your $1 million check sponsored by Geico. Peter Murray, PFL CEO, will bring it in for you. <laughs> Turn around, Sean. You, you <laughs> hold it, we'll hold it, we'll keep it safe. Look, you came out of retirement for this PFL season. You said if you won the belt, it would be a great way to retire. Where do you stand on that? I, uh, I want to thank PFL for giving me this opportunity. Not only as a fighter, but as a broadcaster. They showed all of us a ton of respect, believed in our talent and our work ethic when maybe no other organization did. They're paying us real life-changing money. And all you got to do is win. All you got to do is win. So it's, not, it's never going to be easy to walk away from this sport, but there's no better way to do it than on a high note in front of all my friends and family at an iconic arena in American sport. Thank you, Jeremy Horn, for being my coach since the beginning. Thank you to all my training partners back at Elite Performance. Thank you to PFL. Thank you to everyone who gave me a shot, everyone who cheered for me and laughed at my ridiculous weigh-ins. I love you all. I'm moving on. This is the last time you'll see me competing, but I'm never going to leave this sport. Well, we want to keep you here as a broadcaster, that's for sure. Look, you said going into this fight, your training preparation with Jeremy Mahorn was about getting out of difficult situations. He put you in some horrible situations in the dream. You showed that. Did anything surprise you, or was anything about Vinny more difficult than you expected? Talk us through how it played out for you. Well, Vinny hit a lot harder than I gave him credit for. When he cut me open, he also blinked me just a little bit. Massive respect to Vinny Magalesh, a guy who a lot of people counted out. He battled back. He got himself to this championship. But uh, yeah, my training partners back home, Noah and Brandon and Mitch and all the big boys who made my life miserable these last eight weeks, I owe you lunch, a very expensive lunch. And look, we hear you're going to be a father for the first time, your wife Kendall pregnant, with a little girl, which you said is terrifying, yeah. but you now got a bit of money to support that. I get to be a daddy with this beautiful woman as mother to my child, my wife Kendall. We're having a little girl. So all you boys out there, look out. Look, Sean, congratulations. It's been a pleasure watching you this season. Never count you out. You've entertained us. The light heavyweight champion, $1 million winner, Sean O'Connell. Back to you, Todd. Sean O'Connell with the win. He stands no chance against his future daughter. <laughs> yes. She bet, will roll true. the roost as Sean O'Connell, as he has done all year long, comes from behind. Oh, right hand. And guys, the, the heavy hands hook. were heavy indeed. I'll tell you what. Vinny, uh, to his credit, took every one of those best shots of Sean O'Connell, and there are not a lot of guys on the planet that can say that. Big shots. Good refereeing by Keith Peterson also not to stop it at certain times. Yeah, look at this. Working yes. inside, right where Sean O'Connell loves to be. Big shots. And this was the end. And that was it. Keith Peterson shutting it down after the third round. And Sean O'Connell realizing not only that he is the light heavyweight champion, but he is $1 million richer. Four down, two to go. It's the cuddly bear, Josh Copeland, as he gets set to go up against Felipe Lynn in the heavyweight title bout. You'll see it live here on NBCSN from Madison Square Garden.